Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the most important update to date. The reason why is if you look at the top left, it says version 1.0 releases in 2 months, 21 days, and 8 hours. Which means this is the last update until full release. And this isn't it. In Night even sent out their own personal message to all players of Sons of the Forest. And I will read it right here, right now, today. Hey everyone, today we are announcing that Sons of the Forest version 1.0 will release February 22nd, 2024. After one year in early access, we are also excited to announce Sean Ashmore has joined the cast and will be voicing Timmy as we expand his role in the game and story. If you don't know who Sean Ashmore is, um, he was an actor in the show called The Boys. If you guys haven't seen that show, I urge you guys to watch it. His performance is phenomenal. He's super funny too. Um, I'm not sure if he has done any voiceover work at all. Um, but I, I'm rooting for him. In addition to story updates, new features and polished version 1.0 will also include the final question mark piece. After tomorrow's patch, we will continue to release hotfixes as needed, but the team will be focused on the bigger content release for version 1.0. Thank you to everyone who has joined us so far in this early access journey. We are really excited for what we have in store for the version 1.0 release and beyond. The team at In Night. Man, thank you In Night. I am super hyped and I'm pretty sure most people watching this video are as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got an update to get into. This is update 15. And I already know it's going to be a doozy. Let's go ahead and begin. This patch gives Kelvin three new commands. Repair structures sharpen defense walls, and maintain base. If you ask him to maintain your base, he will fill all holders to capacity, complete any in-progress structures, repair damage, and sharpen place defense walls. Also, they added a brand new outfit. Let's go ahead and see if we can find it here. Um, uh, aha. The priest outfit. This has to be new, right? Unless if this has always been here and I just didn't see it. Hey, let me take this armor off. Here's the new outfit. I look style and profiling, dude. I'm gonna rock this shit, dude, in the new playthrough. Added a new female cannibal type called Elise. Let's go ahead and uh, spawn this bitch in. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, what? What are the? Are those claws or something? Let me see. Let me see your claws. Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nah, dude. She's she's way too fast for my. Oh my god. Put the armor on. Ah! Oh my god. I like your design. You look quite nice, baby. <laughs> Alright, you don't gotta scream like that. <laughs> Cut her arm off, but you know, let's just, uh... There we go. Next on the list, they added freestanding and wall weapon holders. Let's go ahead and check these out real quick. Boom. That's sweet, man. Holy shit. You can put the axe on there, dude? That looks sick. No way. Can you put a, uh, what about a stun gun? Can you put the stun gun on there? Yeah, you can put just about anything on there. Also, there's a wall one too. Like that one that hangs on the wall. Self-explanatory. I really, really like these. So now in the, uh, in the challenge series, we can collect the weapons, right? But all we gotta do is just put them on a weapon rack, you know? Yeah, you know, I think we'll do that when we build the monuments for Kelvin and Virginia. It's gonna be fantastic. Next on the list, they added a new firewood holder. And here it is, baby. It looks really small, though. Huh. Yeah, it does look, uh... It does look a little small, but... I mean, it's, it's pretty cool, though. So that's eight. Twelve. Uh, you can only fit 12 on there. That kind of that kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they are cheap to make though, which is a good thing. So I guess it, I guess it kind of cancels itself out with how cheap they are to make. But yeah, pretty cool though. I like it. Three new hanging gourd types added to trees around the world. More cannibal villages, bridges, paths, and ponds added to the world. More details slash props and gore added to cannibal villages and more new points of interest added to map. I'm not sure what the, uh, 
what other points of interest there could be. I mean, there's only three of them still, so they they might be they might mean something else. I'm guessing. Added new low lying fog effect. Sweet. Added new decorative papers around campsites and some new story pickup items. Renamed color grading setting to style and added a new style found footage. Yo, let's check out this color grading real quick. All right, here we go. Bro, that's so cool. Dude, it looks just like a, like a VHS tape. Added FSR 2.0 and added an ultra performance setting for DLSS. It looks like they added a new findable blueprint. And I know exactly where it is. And here is the location to the blueprint, ladies and gentlemen. If you uh, ever come close to it or you want to just go find it, here it is. Right here. Alright. Uh, now you break these. And you, you walked in. Let's get a flashlight. Very cool so far, though. Not gonna lie. Whoa. That is insane. Here it is. <laughs> no, dude, that that's a reference to that to that movie. What the fuck is it, man? Oh my god. It's the one where that guy where that kid got a BB gun and he shot his eye out. It's that Christmas movie. Oh my god. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the features that they added. And oh my god, I have never seen a longer list of improvements in my entire life. Let me just throw up a picture here. I'll just uh, read off the mo my most in favor improvements uh, in this update. Collision for Cannibal Campfire optimized and improved. Various texture memory optimizations. World locators data optimized to improve memory usage. Modified some pickups to use primitive colliders. Optimized Seasons Manager to improve performance. Improved Beach Wave memory and performance. Oh my god, yeah. They improved the shock arrows, uh, the explosive arrows. Uh, they fixed some LE LODs. They added more LODs to basically every item in the game. They added LODs to the small ponds, uh, even to the oceans. Alright, let's head, uh, let's go to the balance. Added 1.5 second delay to player trigger to all traps after rearm, except for spring traps. Tons more ammo added to end of hell cave to help prepare for end boss. So that's basically the golden armor cave or the hell cave, whatever you want to call it. Added a basic noodle soup. Thank you. Thank you, Inna. It's only been it's only been 10 years. Increased Kelvin energy recover while resting. Set slope walk limit lower for the player on terrain so you can no longer walk directly up steep mountains. Wait, does this- is that why the mountains look so different? Like all of the mountains have been redone. Like look, you can even tell like all the way over there from this side, dude. That is insane. You can see little ridges on the mountains. They didn't only like change where you can't walk up them anymore. But they changed the look as well. So we can fit the part. Man, this game is just fantastic, man. I can't believe it's about to be fully released. I thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, like it. Subscribe to the channel and become one of us. And comment down below your feedback on this update. Well, with all being said and done, I guess I'll see you guys later.